Either service and non-inventory items can be used to sell or charge for non-merchandise services and fees, such as for tailoring, repairs, gift wrapping, recycling fees, and delivery charges. The on-hand quantity of both of these item types is always zero. Non-inventory items are also sometimes used for incidental merchandise items for which you do not wish to track quantities. Having two item types for these uses allows you to categorize and post the sales to different income accounts in your QuickBooks financial software and on point of sale reports. To define a service or non-inventory item, start adding a new item as usual. So we'll go to the item list. We'll click add in the window. We'll type in an item name, delivery service. For the type, this is where we will choose service. If it's a non-inventory part where you're not going to keep track of any quantities in stock, you would choose non-inventory. We will click service. For a department, we will choose a service department. The item description, we will name that delivery service also. We're not going to add a size or an attribute. The regular price for that is $100 per delivery. The average unit cost, we'll leave that zero. Typically, the average unit cost of these items are zero. Exceptions are when you sublet a service to an outside company or are purchasing an incidental item, in which case you should enter the unit cost. Again, there's no on-hand quantity. And usually for delivery service, I know in Michigan, it's non-taxable, so we will keep this as non. There's no UPC number, and there's no quick pick group. And we will just leave everything as defaulted and click Save. Here you will see the inventory item detail for delivery service. And that concludes our video on how to add a service and non-inventory item. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when I make another video about point of sale. Thank you, everybody.